Welcome to City Week, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Alton West. Today I will be sitting down with a local educator that will be talking about an upcoming event here in our community. So make sure that you stay tuned for that interview coming up in just a moment. Why United Way? Because in some way, everyone in our community is touched by your donation to United Way of West Georgia. Yes, everyone. United Way helps 25 local agencies touch thousands of lives, even yours. To cause so many good things to happen, these organizations must have volunteers. Fortunately, more than 2,300 local volunteers are now giving time to the 25 local organizations that United Way of West Georgia helps support. Yes, more than 2,300 volunteers. But more are needed. Yes, yes. Please volunteer your time, as well as your financial support. You'll be astonished at what you'll receive in return. Welcome to City Week, ladies and gentlemen. Today I have an educator sitting down with me from Callaway Elementary School, Mike Fanning. Mike, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Well, Mike, you've been on the show here with me once in the past. We Correct. want to talk about an event later on, but I just want to sit down with you and just have some candid conversation about you as an African-American male teacher, if you don't mind. Sounds but before you, don't, before you do that, tell us a little bit about Mike, first of all. Uh, well, my name is Michael Fanning. i from LaGrange, here from LaGrange. Uh, graduated Alabama State. Uh, let's see, graduated Callaway High School, 2003. And now I am currently a teacher at Callaway Elementary School. Very good. I'm going into my seventh year. Seventh year. Yeah, seven years. I mean, has that been a challenge for you, Mike? Uh, of course. I mean, always. <laughs> when you're dealing with kids, it's, it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be a challenge, yeah. And always, you know, I compare kids to sponges. I say, if always. you don't want them to repeat it, you better not say it around them. And, it, and it, at this stage, it's, it's, it's practice what you preach. That's right. It's practice what you preach. If you're going to preach it, you have to practice it. So, I mean, because like you said, kids are sponges. So, as an adult, as an educator, as a parent or whomever, kids are going to, you know, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to do what, you, what they see. Period. That's right. So, Absolutely. practice what you preach. That's right. Let me do, and, and you've been now in, in education for seven years. What inspired you to want to go into education? Um, let me see. Other than they told me that they was going to pay back my student loans. <laughs> uh, That's always the point, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, but nah, I, I, my mother, she was a she was a great inspiration. My mom, she she helped me to you know uh, decipher or decide what I wanted to do. Um, she she was there to support me. Also, I have a cousin. Uh, he's uh, he's been teaching now for ten years. Uh, he's one of my best friends, so he was a great inspiration to me as well. So um, I mean, you know, and I and I have that passion to help. I mean, I just I. I I just see that, you know, I see the future and kids are the future. So I kind of want to, I want to be the person to help guide and structure and form, you know, a successful future. So mm. that's it. So many great words you mentioned in, the, in your conversation that Mike, I heard guide, Correct. structure. Correct. As a, as a second grade teacher, mm -hmm. do you see sometimes our kid liking that? Uh, um, yes, you do. Um, and, and as an educator, it's our jobs to, you know, if you see one, you know, get off track, it's our job to put them back on. You know, I mean, you, you, they're kids, you know, so they're going to they're gonna straddle the fence. So, like I say, it's our job to put them back in, in place and, you know, to guide them to, to be successful. Mm. So, yeah. Very good. Let me ask you a little bit, because <coughs> being a male teacher, because I can remember back <laughs> to my days of doing the D.A.R.E. program. Correct. I know that there were very few male teachers in the in the school at that time. Correct. Has that changed, Mike, in your tenure? Mm, I would say probably so, but still, it's it's not up to par. Like it's still not where it could or should be. Um, and I say that because, like I I've had this conversation several times. Like I go to these meetings like with other second grade teachers in the entire county. And I'm, it's probably like four of us total. And you're talking about all the schools in Troop County. So you're talking about four males 
out of no tell, I'm just say a hundred, you know. So I mean, I I think it's it's not balanced, you okay. know. I think as males, we 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 have to position ourselves, you know, to become educators first mm -hmm. and foremost, um, because I mean we we're, we're highly needed mm -hmm. across the board, like we're highly needed, and I think more so in the early elementary, mm -hmm. I mean, or elementary, you know, from pre-K through fifth. Um, of course, you know, middle school, yes, and high school, yes, but my thing is to get them early, guide them early, and we'll, we'll send you a better product in the end. Okay. You know. So important. If, if you had a friend or if someone was watching the show today, mm -hmm. and they were maybe kind of tinkering at the idea, wanting to become an educator, mm -hmm. would just not sure that mm -hmm. that was really what they wanted to do. What could you tell them to encourage them to make that move? Uh, you get two months off in the summer. <laughs> That's always a plus. Fully, isn't it? <laughs> fully, fully paid. Okay. Uh, but no, nah, I mean, honestly, that is that. That's a that's a great, great, great benefit. I will say, but I mean, it's 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 a full field job. Like, you, I mean, you get a great appreciation. Like when I go to Walmart and go to the mall and go, you know, go places. I see kids, and I mean. They come up to me. I mean, and and I love that. Like I, I love to see that I've had a great effect, positive effect on a on a kid. Whether it's a boy, girl, black or white, or Hispanic or whomever. Like I love that appreciation that the kids show that I've done a great job. You know, so yeah. Very good. You know, and and, and you talked <clears throat> a moment ago. You were talking about you know dad, mom. Correct. Talk about a little bit about the various roles <laughs> that you and and the other teachers as well have to play um, in the classroom well that's that's i mean this is the topic that you know we t as teachers we talk about we wear many hats we like we, we are the teacher yes uh we are the mom yes we are the dad yes uh, we also uh doctors so uh, i mean we got to put band-aids on uh Mr. Fanny, can you please put my tooth is loose so uh, like huh <laughs> like i'm not a dentist you're a dentist uh, I mean, we wear many hats. Like, I mean, a lot of my kids accidentally call me dad. Like, oh, dad, oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I mean, that's, that's part of the job. Mm -hmm. I, to me, that makes me feel like I'm doing a, you know, doing a great job for them to even um, consider me as their dad, you know, so um, we, we wear many hats, many, many hats, Absolutely. many hats. And again, I just reflect back on my days of doing the D.A.R.E. program and, and I tell, you know, tell kids or tell adults, I can remember kids coming into the school and, and they were ready, that's my dad, that's my dad. <laughs> and you know, and I think that being said, and, and you probably can attest to this, kids want to be associated with something that's positive. Correct. Correct. And I heard you mention about structure. Talk a little bit about some of the structure that you provide in your classroom. Um, I'm I'm big on classroom management. Like that is my that's my thing. Like I I I, I thrive on I like order. Like I don't uh, you know no offense to others, but I'm more of a before we do anything, we're gonna we're gonna know these rules, we're gonna know these guidelines, and you know we'll go from there. We're gonna laugh, we're gonna play. But I'm, I'm big on classroom management because if your class is not in order, I mean, who's going to pay, pay attention, mm -hmm. you know? So um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big, uh, I'm big on management, management. yeah, okay. management, Very good. yeah, that's me. Let me ask you that, Mike, because I know that second grade, mm -hmm. and, and you think about, okay, small, they lovable, adorable, yeah, yeah, and yeah, all yeah, of the things. Yeah. What, is, what do you feel like has been one of your biggest challenges? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, biggest challenge, I'll say, probably, hmm, I'll say just getting everybody on the same page, you know, meaning, I'll say, because you, um, you have some kids who are more advanced, mm -hmm. um, and then you have some, or, you know, that are lacking in certain areas, but just to bring everybody onto the same playing field. Uh -huh. You know that's that's the challenge. You know because you can't leave them behind. I mean because you know the no child left behind. That's right. You know so you can't leave them behind. So basically just making sure everybody is being catered to. You know 
for the advanced kids to the medium kids, you know, making sure everybody is on the same playing field. And That's the biggest challenge. And it has to be a difficult task. Right. But just before that reason alone, Correct. because, you know, in talking about, and, and I'm kind of shameless to say this, <laughs> I found out when I was doing my graduate program, <laughs> the type of learner that I am, yeah. I'm a kinesthetic visual learner. Period. And then, um, so in saying that, what are some of the techniques? I know that now they have the Perithian boards yeah. and various other teaching techniques. What do you feel like, how do you feel like your kids best learn? Um, through past years, it's still, I think overall it's gonna be hands-on. Like kids these days, they're, they're more hands-on, visual, uh, even auditory, because you know, music. You know, kids love music. I, I don't know what it is about that <laughs> music but they love the music. So nowadays we create like different um, uh, songs that, that kind of coincide with the curriculum, whether it's uh, math songs, science songs, how to add, how to subtract, um, and technology. You know, technology, mm -hmm. like you said, with the Prometheum boards, uh, kids love the technology. They love it, they love it, they love it. They mm -hmm. gravitate to it. Um, so, I mean, nowadays, the kids know more about it than the, the actual teacher, to be honest. Right. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you know, um, but, I mean, like I say, I, I think just all across, you know, uh -huh. auditorial, uh -huh. kinesthetic, everything. Right, I mean, absolutely. So, there absolutely. you go. Well, you know, and, and we built all that up, Mike, because you as an educator, seeing the need of our young people. Correct. you taken something now and is going on for its seventh year yeah uh, you've been a part of it's been a part of our community uh, to show the kids not only that you care about them in the classroom but you brought this program outside of the classroom Correct. to address needs of our young people I think to show them not only that you care there in the classroom but that you care th for them when they're in their various communities Correct. because I think again it goes back to the old techniques that talks about the, takes a village to raise a child most definitely when we come back from our commercial break I'm going to talk about the event, the seventh annual Back to School Haircuts for Kids, okay? Yes, so if you just stick with me here for a moment or two, we're going to we'll take do. a short commercial break and come back and talk about Sounds it. Okay? Good. Sounds right. good. Sounds good. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. We'll be back for more City Week in just a moment. schools. A place where you can learn and grow. A place where teachers care. A place where family and school come together. A place where learning matters. A place preparing students for a bright future. Whether going to college or into the workforce. True County Schools preparing students for success today. Welcome back City Week, ladies and gentlemen. Today my guest is Michael Fanning, elementary teacher from Callaway, second grade. Great. And Mike, we left off a moment ago, but I want to go back in before we get to the program that, at hand. Mm -hmm. um, being second grade teacher, school is about to get ready to get started. Great. And I know the kids are excited about it, parents are probably excited about it. Of course. Uh, um, and the teachers are excited about it. But before we get before we get into that, let's just talk a little bit about the importance of getting that kid prepared and ready for that first day? Um, I think for the most part, um, I think it's more so, I mean, get your adequate rest, you know, get your sleep, go to bed at night, you know, take your nice shower, uh, have a bedtime. Uh, you know, I'm really not sure. I, I hear a lot of my kids say, my mom makes me go to bed at 8.30, you know, or nine o'clock is the latest. So, you know, make sure they get that, you know, seven, eight hours of sleep. So they'll be um, prepared. Be prepared for that for that long haul. Okay. For that long haul day. You know, and we always hear breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Correct. How important is that to you as a teacher that the kid comes prepared? Um, I mean, just preparation just says a lot about 
I mean, a person, whether it's old or young. I mean, preparation when you prepare. As I always say, if, um, if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. Uh, so prepare just tells me that I am ready, I'm focused for the day. Whatever you, whatever you toss into me today, I'm ready for it. Ready. So that's what the preparation and prepare means to me. I'm ready. Okay. I'm right. ready. Very good. Tip for the parents now, because I know the parents going to be getting up, getting mm -hmm. dressed for work, or, or going off to class themselves. What tips would you give parents to help them uh, to be prepared? Uh, I, I think I would say, like I said, I'm really I'm not a parent, so I will say uh, what I think. Uh, just have a schedule, you know, have a have a set schedule. Um, that that makes it better. Uh, like I know for me, we we have set guidelines. You know, at six o'clock, six thirty, we're waking up. Uh, 6.45, you need to have face washed, teeth brushed, and you know, have your clothes on. 7 o'clock, we're eating breakfast, and then 7.15, we're out of the house. Okay. So, you know, just have a, have a schedule. Have, you know, have your guidelines and, you know, stick to it. Okay. And it goes back to that structure that you talked about. Right. And, and I think if the kids see it uh, modeled at home, then it's mm. not so difficult for them to kind of slip right into it correct. when they go to class. Correct, correct, correct. Now, and I know that, you know, the school bus is going to be rolling, traffic is going to pick up a little bit. Yeah. People, again, are going to be excited about getting the kids back. Just a few tips that you would like to give for those parents dropping kids off at the school and, and, and also bus riders, too. Uh, just make sure, make sure uh, your kids are uh, visible. Um, make sure, you know, make sure at the bus stop, you know, they're not by themselves unless, you know, middle school, high school. Uh, make sure, because I know nowadays, I know when, when it's a rule that they have, if you're under eight or eight and under, a parent has to be at the bus stop, you know. Okay. So make sure you, make sure that you're there, because if you're not, they're coming back to the school. Like, it's no if, ands, buts about it, because I've seen it. I've seen it many of times. So just, you know, make sure you're there, make sure you know what's going on. Um, and also, just practice what you preach. Okay. That's my thing now, practice what you preach. Practice what you preach, absolutely. Yeah. First day of school, kids are excited about yeah. it. They got their new outfits on. <laughs> and, and the event that you are sponsoring that you were here to talk about today is the Back to School Haircuts for Kids. Correct. You know, and I can remember back to ooh, years ago, uh -oh. <laughs> my first day of school. And you know, you, you, you wanted to make that good impression. You know, yes. you wanted to have the haircut nice. You wanted to have on the nice clothes and everything. Correct smelling good and everything like that. You have a back to school haircut for kids. This is the seventh year that this will have taken place. Seven. Talk a little bit about how that all started, Mike, if you don't mind. Well, for me, like I say, um, the first person that I went to was Craig Davis. Like I, I always, we talked about this the other day too, it's crazy. Um, I have to just go to him. I have to tip my hat off to him. He, I went to him at the time he was my barber. I mean, and he gave me that, like, why are you asking me this? Like, it was like, I'm, I'm, I'm down for it. Like, I've been waiting on someone to, 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 to do this. So he's been with me from day one. And I mean, it has launched. Uh, there was a time, like the very first one, seven years ago, uh, Tanya Boyd, I don't know if you're familiar with her, she came to the barbershop. She was actually going to get kids. She was going in her car, going get kids, because I really didn't know about promoting. And you know, I just thought, well, on August, whatever, this is what we're gonna do. And I'm thinking it's gonna be a boatload of people, you know. But it didn't, you know, it didn't work out that way, which is still was a learning experience. Um, but Tanya, she went in. I mean, literally got in her car, went to. Over here, over there, over there, dropped them off. We cut their hair, they got a backpack, and she took them back. Like, I, and I, 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 like I'm highly appreciated for that. Like, I, I truly thank her for that. Um, but nowadays, it has grown where, like last year, for example, I know we cut every bit of, in this low end, 300, 300 kids. Like, I mean, it was a lot of people there. Like, uh -huh. it was a lot. And I'm expecting, um, I'm expecting larger numbers this year, like I really am. Um, I had the opportunity to uh, combine with Chad Cooper, uh, West Georgia star. Uh, he was uh, what they call a blessing in disguise. Like he came out of nowhere and like we teamed up and we bought um, 400, and 400 plus backpacks this year. Yeah, we bought 400. Um, we're going to pick up the supplies today. 
um, and we're putting the supplies in the backpacks, you know, and we're, we're gonna, it, it has elevated, mm -hmm. you know, every year is something different, every year it has grown. Very like good. every year. Very good. Yeah. What, what, what is the date of the event this year, Mike? It's August 10th August from, at 10th. 1 o'clock. Okay. And that's going to be held at the? William Griggs Rec Center. Okay. Yeah, Glenn well, Robinson. And why is it so important for you as a ele elementary, elementary teacher, first right. of all, mm -hmm. and also a member of this community, why is it so important for you to give back to our young people like that? Um, it's, 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 it just set, it set the standards, you know, like it just... I, I consider myself a positive role model. Uh, again, practice what you preach. I mean, it's, it's, it's that. Mm -hmm. um, like I wanna, and hopefully one day, like I can hand this over to a, a young kid. Like, you know, here you go, y you take over. Mm -hmm. Like I don't see myself doing this forever. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I want it to continue forever, don't get me wrong, but I don't see myself, I wanna see a kid who's in high school now, in middle school, elementary now, and say, Mr. Fanning, can I please help out? Can I please take over, you know, and you know, you can have it. Okay. But I mean, it's just, it's just, I just, that's my personality. Like I'm a giving person, like I'm, it's just me. I feel this is nothing that I feel like, this is just normal to me, you okay. know, it's normal. Okay. I'll say that. Right. Now you, and you talked about book backpacks <coughs> and then there are gonna be supplies in there. Uh, and I don't know these are things that the kids will need to make sure that they get off to a good start. That's it. Uh, pencils, pads, uh, papers, That's et cetera, it. et cetera. Mm -hmm. And it is to meet a need in the community. Correct. And I know that in so many of the mm -hmm. uh, agencies we have client trackers. Okay. To make sure that people are not taken advantage of. What would you say to individuals coming to this event? Because I know there's going to be other things there that was going to be offered. Correct. What would you say to the, to persons coming to the event that may not necessarily need the products that you're going to be giving out? I mean, it's simple. I mean, it. I mean, if you if you don't need the backpack, don't get it. Like, period. I mean, greed. Don't be greedy. Uh, if you need it, it's there for you. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't want that to detour anybody from coming like okay. i mean like the backpacks are honestly for the people who really need the backpacks mm -hmm. and everything else the haircuts and the the school i mean the uh, jumpers and the the painted nails for the young ladies the snow cone hamburgers hot dogs that's for everybody okay i mean but i am i'm i'm, I'm kind of firm about that backpacks and the school supplies because there's no need to be greedy. Okay. I mean, if you already have two or three backpacks at home in your closet, why make it four? Right. Like, it's, it's no point for that. So, I mean, only get the backpacks, only get in line for the school supplies backpacks if you, only, if you need it. Okay. I mean, but again, don't let that detour you from coming. Okay. Still come, still have fun, and you're gonna have fun. Right, because I hear you say there are gonna be other things there. There's gonna be hamburgers, hot dogs, Correct. cotton candies. Yeah. Now, talk a little bit about, about your sponsors. Man, sponsors this year is, is, is actually going through the roof. Like, I, I'm very pleased, I'm very satisfied uh, with what's going on. Because uh, as, I, as I told you earlier today, it was a time where I had to do a lot of the going out, knocking on doors, and how you doing, do you mind sponsoring? But nowadays, like, people are calling me. Like, people are literally, how can I help? Uh, how can I donate? And one of the coolest things that I was introduced to was uh, a website called GoFundMe. Okay. GoFundMe, um, and you can and you guys can go on there as well. Um, GoFundMe is a is a site where it eliminates a lot of um, going to people. Um, it's linked to my Facebook page, um, and what happens is like I can. Uh, post things like uh, today I'm looking for donors or whatever whatnot and then it gives all of my friends Facebook friends which I'm linked to maybe you know 1300 people it gives them the opportunity to from their phone they can donate mm -hmm. so uh, it's, it's that easy now so I set a goal of a thousand dollars and this morning when I checked I'm at 935 very so good. Uh, we're almost there. Okay. We're almost there. So I'm looking for people to. And my thing is, because uh, because I get the opportunity, I have the opportunity to leave messages. Mm -hmm. So I always, you know, my message is teamwork makes the dream work. 
uh, help close the gap. You know, those are the things, like my positive things that I try to push back to people. And I'm highly, you know, appreciative of the people who have donated. Like it's, it's like I say, it's good to see that I used to be the one, me, my mom, my dad, my family used to be the ones who sponsored this entire thing. Uh -huh. Now it's, now it's the community. the community, like it's the community. And that's, and that's where I'm going with it. Like I don't want this to be a Michael Fannin event. I don't want this to be a positive contribution event. I want this to be a LaGrange, Georgia, West Point, community, Meriwether County, Meriwether County event. You know, okay. it's, it's for everybody. Like that's, everybody. that's what I want. Okay. So, yeah. All right, very good. Let me, anytime you're talking about an event, mm -hmm. and I wanna, I'm gonna talk a little bit about sponsors in just a few moments. But anytime you're doing an event, I know that there's always those behind the scenes persons, yeah, man. those volunteers. <laughs> if there was someone that was listening, Mike, and, the, and they wanted to, to get involved, they right. may not be able to make a financial contribution, but they may want to be a volunteer. Perfect. How can they do that? Uh, basically, they can do a uh, few, few uh, various ways. Uh, we have newspaper ads going out. Uh, you know, if you, if you can look in the paper, get my cell phone number, which is uh, 706-416-5014. Uh, feel free to call, text, I mean, it doesn't matter. Uh, also, uh, Facebook, Positive Contribution, uh, or my personal Facebook, Michael Fannin. Um, it doesn't matter, like, if, if it's all, if it's a will, it's a way, right. you know. So even if you just come to the event mm -hmm. on August the 10th, 12, 30, we'll find your spot. Okay. If you want, if you're really down for the cause, <laughs> okay. we'll find your spot. Very good. As we get ready to close out, Mike, if there was someone that was watching the mm -hmm. show that had not gone out or have access to the website, mm -hmm. uh, uh, GoFundMe, mm -hmm. but they wanted to make a contribution, how could they do that? We could do, um, like I say, contact me from, from my phone number okay. or uh, you can do, you can uh, go by the rec center, ask for Mr. Mitch. Mr. Mitch, he's a, uh, I, I will say he's a vital asset to me as well. Okay. Um, I, I've been working with him now, I think four or five years. And uh, he, I mean, he calls me and what we need to do, what date is it on? I'm gonna make sure we got this, what do you need? So he, he he's vital to me as well, Mr. Mitch. Okay. Uh, but go by the rec center. Okay. And they'll, they'll, they'll know how to get it to me. All right. As we close, Mike, tell them that date and time one more time before we go. Uh, I would like to show my flyer, um, August 10th, Sunday, uh, 1 o'clock. Positive right. contribution, full tilt riders, West Georgia Star, haircuts for kids, 7. All right. There we go. Well, Mike, it's been a pleasure sitting down Likewise. with you, and I know that it will be Likewise. a great success Likewise. because you're in the seventh year. Yes, seven sir. is in completion. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Likewise. All Thank right. you for having Thank me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. We'll be back for more City Week in just a moment. At LaGrange College, your journey toward achievement may take you in many different directions. The arts, law, ministry, medicine. Experience LaGrange College, one of the South's most affordable, highly ranked institutions, and leave transformed. Discover more at lagrange.edu slash transform. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you've enjoyed City Week. My guests have been from Callaway Elementary School, second grade teacher, Michael Fanning, as he talked about the importance of being an educator and also about an upcoming event that will be held on Sunday, August the 10th, Back to School Haircuts for Kids, positive contribution. So make sure that you come on out, support this event, and by all means, bring your kids, boys and girls, out to this very worthwhile cause and enjoy all the fun activities there. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you've enjoyed our interviews this week. And as always, I want to invite you back for more of City Week. A fierce, competitive spirit inhabits the DNA of students here at LaGrange College. Sixteen NCAA Division III teams, inspiring coaches, and some of the best facilities in the Southeast. Athletic, spiritual, and academic experiences. Discover more at lagrange.edu transform.